Alonso Soriano leading off for the Yanks. That one, he yanks that one his sixth of the year. Tenth career leadoff home run for Soriano in his second this year. Bottom one, Clemens rings up Torrey Hunter and Doug Minkiewicz. That ends the inning. Top two, Robin Ventura. Offensive support, upper deck is fourth, 2 0 New York, as Radke is waxed for seven runs on nine hits in five. 2 1 in the third, Christian Guzman to first. And look at the rocket get over there. He's an old guy, but he still moves pretty good. They get the out. Top four, Raul Mondesi. Mondesi's fourth. Yanks up 3 1. New York has hit 31 home runs this season and given up only four. Bottom four, Clemens, Luis, Rivas. The Rocket allowed one run in six innings, struck out eight as ERA now 2.08, gets Torrey Hunter in the fifth. Hunter 0 for 20 with 12 Ks, lifetime against Clemens. Top six, Jorge Posada, and that is into right. Ground rule double, Bernie comes in 4-1 Yankees. Top seven, Ventura already with one home run in the game. Fake it to upper deck again is fifth. 10th straight win against the Twins for the Yankees, 11-4. Clemens gets number two, nine, six. So the Rockets' quest for 300 wins down to four. He'd be the 21st member of the 300-win club and now needs 66 Ks to join Nolan Ryan and Steve Carlton, the only pitchers ever with 4,000 strikeouts. Clemens next start scheduled for Wednesday in Anaheim. He's 27-8 career against those Angels. The 1 and 13 Tigers limping into Kansas City. How bad's Detroit? Well, they're batting a buck 65 as a team. Only four starters hitting above the Mendoza line. Craig Monroe, no at bats. He was just called up. We go to the top of the first. First and third for Dean Palmer. And, well, he's below the Mendoza line at 118. And Daryl May strikes Palmer out. Four strikeouts for May. Top third, still no score. Bobby Higginson above the Mendoza line at 204, so he's going to celebrate with a shot of Jack. Homer and off May to center field. Higgins first of the season, and Alan Trammell's club has got a lead. Bottom six, 3-2 Tigers. Two out, Nate Corneille against Raul Ibanez. He was four for seven with one home run career coming in against Corneille. Well, this game is tied at three. Ibanez is fourth homer of the year. Here's Bottom the of the 10th, man on first for Michael Tucker against Matt Anderson. Tucker gets the bunt down. Anderson throw high. Ramon Santiago keeps it from going into right field. So we've got runners at first and second. Next batter, Joe Randa. The bunt down. Pulls Shane Halter off third. Bases loaded, no outs. Next batter, Carlos Beltran just off the DL and not yet on his game. A one-out force play at home. Next, Mike Sweeney. He's going to pop foul to Eric Munson. Two out, and Detroit living on the edge. Raul Abanez. He's going to fly out to former Hawaii Winter Leaguer Gene Kingsale, and Detroit gets out of the 10th unscathed. We go to the bottom of the 11th. Matt Anderson, 0-2 pitch to Ken Harvey, and Harvey's got... Fever. Home run to left, second of the year. That's going to make Tony Pena happy. It's going to bum Alan Trammell out. Royals win 4-3. Tigers off to their worst start in franchise history. It's an Isringhausen to return before the end of the month. That from the team's physician who met with Izzy Friday. Right shoulder problems continue to hamper the cub club's closer. Right elbow problems shelving the club's MVP. Albert Pujols may be limited to pinch hitting duties for the next three weeks. As Pujols sits, Fernando Vina returns from a hand injury to the leadoff spot. The Cardinals have offset their injuries with a league-leading 310 batting average. Cardinals hosting the Diamondbacks. First of a threesome, Bob Brenly has used 15 different batting lineups in 17 games for his D-backs, so they've used six different batters in the two-hole. Who would be there today? How about Carlos Baerga? He grounds out to first. And it's two down in the top of the first. D-backs have used four different batters in the three spot. Who's going three on Friday? Luis Gonzalez. And that ball's going up and coming down to third. Roland making the catch. Diamondbacks have used six different batters in the five hole. Who goes there Friday? Matt Williams against Woody Williams. And Woody wins that battle. D-backs have used five different batters in the sixth spot. And who goes six Friday? How about Lyle Overbay? And he also strikes out Woody Williams. Seven innings, three hits, no runs. He's got 19 and two-thirds scoreless this season. 6-3, cards. 
Rockies and Padres. Oliver Perez, 13 and two thirds career ratings at Coors without allowing an earned run. Well, couldn't last forever. Bottom two, Charles Johnson will score Larry Walker. CJ three for five, one nothing Colorado. Perez's first earned run at Coors Field and a bit of foreshadowing, it would not be his last. Bottom fifth, six nothing Rockies. Chris Steins. Two run shot, his second. Steins two for four, drove in three. Colorado up eight zip. Perez tagged for eight runs on 11 hits and four and two thirds. Top nine, Aaron Cook going for a complete game. Mark Loretta at third, Brian Buchanan at second, Clint Hurdle at the mound. Is he going to yank him? No. Little word of encouragement. Leaves him in. Two outs now. Keith Lockhart. Cook gets his first career complete game. Went all the way, gave up just one run on five hits. Rockies win big 12-1. Colorado 6-1 and one at Coors Field this season. Brown was shelled by the Giants last year. 0-2 and, and two starts with an ERA at 12. Got stuck with a no decision at Pac Bell last Sunday. San Francisco swept L.A. in that three-game series last weekend. Brown and the Dodgers looking for payback at home this weekend. Not going to get it, though. Top one, J.T. Snow. That's over Alex Cora's head. Barry Bonds comes in. So does Jose Cruz Jr. It's 3-0 San Fran. Kevin Brown, your thoughts? Well, he's not that happy. I need, I need a minute. He needs a timeout. Top two, Barry, two on, two out. Deep to right, and there it goes. Right into Sean Green's mitt. Dodgers escape. Bonds 0 for 3 Friday. Did walk twice. Top three, it's that snow guy again. Down the right field line. And they are going to wave Jose Cruz Jr. all the way from first. Snow with a double. 4 1 Giants. JT Snow. What a start. Three for four, three RBI. Brown allowed five runs on eight hits in five. Bottom five, Mike Kincaid. Into left, Barry Lamar Bonds, full extension, and he stuck the landing. Giants win 5-1. Dodgers managed only four hits and committed three errors. Pittsburgh's Chris Jensen was 7-1 in his last 10 starts, dating back to last season. His lone loss, the Cubs were PNC Friday. Top one, Mark Grudzelonic singled, and then it's going to go to third on Benson's poor attempt at a pickoff. Alex Gonzalez would score Grudzelonic with a single. Sammy single to Lou walked, and with the bases juiced, he up Troy, doubling off the wall and right. Troy was 0 for 3 with two Ks in his only previous meeting with Benson. Must have watched some film. Cubs up four before the Pirates have even come to the plate. 4-1 in the fourth. Mark Bellhorn leading off with the rip. Right at Rob McCoviak in right. After that, we are going to pick on Pokey, who entered the game 7 for 29 against Cub pitcher Matt Clement. Second inning, he's retired with the slider. Two innings later, Pokey a peep and Tom watching that strike three pitch. And in the sixth, with two on, Reese goes down swinging. Pokey 0 for 4 with 4Ks. Clement, 10 whiffs in seven innings. Cubs win 7-2. Joy, choice, batting 500 in the Cubs' last four games. This after going hitless in his previous four games. In fact, Troy's numbers over the, his last few games looking very similar to Sammy's, except Sosa's average is slightly lower. Rangers in Oakland. Barry Zito coming in 8-0 career versus Texas. He owns these guys, owns sort of all these pitchers against all these other teams. The unit, 11-0 against the Cubs. Top one, no score. Barry gets A-Rod to swing at the high stuff. Bottom one now. A's up one nothing. Arobio Durazo. Double to the right field corner. Eric Chavez scores. They wave. Miguel Tejada in as well. And the A's are up three zip. John Thompson gave up three runs on eight hits and three and two thirds. Zito in a jam. Bases loaded in the fourth. Rafi Palmero to Terrence Long. And Zito escapes. Bottom four, five nothing A's. Here's T Long. And that is teed up long. His fifth. Six nothing Oakland. Long two for three. Next batter. Ramon Hernandez to right center, back to back Jacks, number two for Hernandez, and it's seven nothing A's. Plenty for Zito. In the ninth, Rafi. Zito's 50th career win, nine shutout innings, gave up six hits, struck out six. A's, blank Texas, nine zip. The Mariners opening a three-game series in Anaheim. Jamie Moyer looking for his 100th win as a Mariner. First batter of the game, he rings up David Eckstein. Bottom two, Troy Gloss. And in the words of Dick Vitale, Wilson. Freeze it! Mike Schultz, Social, your thoughts? Exactly. Bottom three, Eckstein. We saw Barry Bonds go get it. Check out Ichido! 
Tremendous catch. This show rife with web gems. Take a look. Going back with the backhander. Tremendous catch by Ichiro, who was uh, 0 for 5 at the plate. What a buzzkill, hitting 254 on the year. Next inning, Troy Gloss. Mike Cameron. Look at Troy Gloss go get that, throw to first. Top five now, Brett Boone. Off Ramon Ortiz, who gave up six runs on six hits in seven and two third. Moyer, seven shutout innings, and the Mariners win 8 2. Four losses by the end of April. Visiting Phillies could change that. Jimmy Rollins, six for 27, career versus Mad Dog, leads off the game with the double. Maddox ERA in first innings this season, 11.25. Next batter, David Bell, singles off Maddox leg. Rollins scores. Bell would later score in a sack fly. Fills up two after one, just one of the two runs earned. So Maddox's first inning ERA improves from 11 and a quarter to 10.80. Bottom one man on Gary Sheffield's hit safely in his last 14 games. Rollins robs him and gets the force at second. Chipper would whiff to end the frame. Top six, 2-1. Bases loaded for Ricky Lede, and he makes the blooper reel. Marcus Giles needed his PF Flyers. Two runs fly home. 4-1 Philly. And that play and breakfast not agreeing with Bobby Cox. Bottom six, Julio Franco chase Randy Wolf with the two-run double. First batter for Carlos Silva. Vinny Castilla and Lede makes the blooper reel again with the fielding blunder. He had a wrong first step, then took a wrong turn. Gift double, two score. Braves bullpen tosses three and a third scoreless. Smoltz, gets a six save, and the Braves win 5-4. Mets opening a nine-game homestand with three against the Marlins. Former Marlins, Al Leiter and Mike Piazza, the battery. Last May 27th, they gave up six stolen bases to the Fish. And fourth inning Friday, here we go again. Piazza's throw barely made the mound to get Luis Castillo. Later, Juan Encarnacion induces Piazza to throw into right center. Still in the fourth, Mike Lowell steals second without a throw. Still in the fourth, Mike Mordecai. Still no throw from Piazza. In the fifth, Piazza, well, D. Encarnacion gets his second steal. Top six. Piazza's throw into center. Six stolen bases again. And the Piazza lighter battery. 3-3 three, three in the eighth. Tony Clark pinch hitting for Ray Sanchez. There's a long drive. Deep right center field. Juan Pierre looks up. Career pinch hit home run is third of the year. He wasn't worth a bag of donuts in Boston, but he's got three home runs already. Speaking of Boston, Red Sox hosting Toronto. Tim Wakefield, that ball knuckles a little too much when it's 39 degrees. Shannon Stewart will take first with the Jays up 2-0 in the third. Two on for Carlos Delgado. To left, drops in, Stewart scores. Frank Catalano goes to third, and it's 3-0 Toronto, eh? It was 3-1 Blue Jays in the sixth. New guy, Kevin Mala. Guy's been wicked hot. Off Mark Hendricks in his fifth. Got a 14-game hit streak. He's hitting 404 this year. Friday, Red Sox fans, it was Toronto's bullpen imploding. Jeff Tam walks Todd Walker in the seventh. Then it's Noma Garcia Para. Ball four. Manny gets away from Tom Wilson. Doug Mirabelli comes in, tie game. Ramirez would walk, so did Millar. Tam, four walks and three earned in two thirds of an inning. And as you can see, he didn't take it very well when he got back to the dugout. Check out the shirt. He threw 32 pitches, 22 were balls. Lee, Boston has won five in a row. Higher only than Detroit's in the AL, swinging at Chicago. Bottom six, it's the White Sox' Carlos Lee who's busting out the bat at the expense of Ricardo Rodriguez. Lee's second on the season, game tied at three. Next batter is Joe Creedy. Second pitch, Rodriguez with a message pitch. Either that or he's just really wild. White Sox not wild about that toss. Lee leads the stare down. Seventh inning still nodded. One out. Runners on the corners for Mags. Ordonez come back to Jose Santiago. Runners on the move. Santiago throws it away. D'Angelo Jimenez scores 4-3 Sox. Afterwards, manager Eric Wedge bemoaned the double play opportunity lost. You see what he saw. Brandon Phillips looks like he was set to turn two. Phillips, by the way, one of those traded to Cleveland for Bartolo Colon. And there's Colon ending the threat in the eighth with one on. One of his three strikeouts. Travis Hafner gone there. Final chance for the Tribe. Cologne gets Omar Vizquel. Complete game for Cologne, but not a complete game shutout. 5-3. White Sox. Complete game of the year. His second victory. Devil Rays Orioles. First to four from Baltimore. Bottom two. 
They're loaded for Victor Sambrano, who's in a jam. Tony Batista singles. Baltimore sends 13 men to the plate in an eight-run Orioles second. Tampa Bay starting pitchers still have not won a game this season. Top three, Ray Ordonez, his third, ties a career high already. Devil Rays up 8-2. That one off Jason Johnson. Top nine, Toby Hall. Three-run shot his second, and suddenly the Devil Rays are down only two. It's 9-7. Can Carl Crawford contribute? B.J. Serhoff saves it for Jorge Julio, who gets saved number four. O's win, 9-7. Met fans turn away. Ray Ordonez <laughs> has already matched his career high with three homers this year. He is going yard once every 20 at bats. Impressive when you consider Ordonez only homered once every 367 at bats coming into the season. It took him 415 total games to reach three home run as a New York Met. Houston at Milwaukee, Craig Biggio and Robin Yount both have made the move from the infield to the outfield, and Biggio says, I, I certainly knew who Robin Yount was and, and how he played and that he was one of the best ever. I kind of looked him up when I made the switch, and we do a legal flashback to 1989. Yount wearing a Hall of Fame Brewers cap and making a Hall of Fame catch right there in center field. Now let's come back to Friday night, and Astros up 6-5, Richie Sexton, and Biggio doing his best Yount imitation. Milwaukee went 3 for 17 with runners in scoring position. Let's head back again. More from Yount. Can't get enough of Rock and Robin. Yount. You count that one out. In 89, now back to 2003, and it's Luis Vizcaino facing Biggio and the 200th time that Biggio's done that. He homer solo shot. Astros win 11-5 at a season high 17 hits.